All right, welcome to my Eddie Brock and Venom Bundle gameplay and review video. So this bundle is all sorts of confusing and messed up. So they have the old Venom skin bundle, and then they have the new Eddie Brock bundle, and then they have a combination of both, and then they have sold separately the glider and the contrail. So this is quite possibly one of the dumbest bundles I've ever seen just because of how they've done this. So in none of the bundles can you get these two items. You have to shell out 1,200 V-Bucks, 800 for this, the symbiotic sale, and then 400 for this, the symbiote trail, which is a contrail. Now, the Venom bundle that has both of them, if we go into gift, you can see, let me find someone that doesn't have it, Mega here, my friend Cinder Mega doesn't have it, so it's 2,800 V-Bucks for both bundles combined, 2,800. Now look at this, if you do these individually, let's say you just want the Eddie Brock bundle. So if we go in here and try to gift this, it's 2,000. And then the same thing for this one, the OG Venom skin, if you want to call it that, it's 2,000 as well. So if you want both bundles separately, you have to pay 4,000 V-Bucks. So why not just buy this one for 800 more? It's 2,800 and you get everything except for these two items. So like I said, this whole bundle is just all sorts of messed up. All right, so here he is in the locker. It says you might call them a bit of an odd couple. And he has the transformation ability, not the built-in, it's called transformation for this one. But if you come in here, you can either pick Venom, if you wanna start the match as Venom, you can do that, or you can pick Eddie Brock. Now, obviously, these are movie-based. We've got a brand new Venom movie coming out very soon, and there's already one that came out a few years ago, and that's what these are based on. The other Venom skin is based on the comic books. So this character right here, Eddie Brock, is based on Tom Hardy, the actor that plays him, and it looks amazing. That is Tom Hardy's face right there. It's so real, it could be an Icon series skin. It's that good. Now the skin itself, I think is good. We're gonna check it out in game, but it looks like a skin that some people would like to run. The issue is the back bling. Obviously, this is meant for Venom, not Eddie Brock. And it looks completely out of place on him. And I really don't like that. But if you take it off and do the transformation, it doesn't magically appear. I was hoping it would, but it doesn't. So in order for this to be on the back of Venom, you have to equip it on Eddie Brock. And like I said, I hate that. Or let's say you started with Venom here with it on his back. If you do the transformation, I wanted it to go away when you transformed into Eddie, but it doesn't, it stays on him. So that's disappointing because it looks so dumb on Eddie Brock, but it looks amazing on Venom, as it should. So I kind of wish he had his own back bling and when you did the transformation emote, it would swap to this. And then when you reverted back, it would go back to his. But they didn't do it like that. Why? Please, come on. So again, this is based off the movie version and it looks tremendous. He's not as bulky as the comic book version. He's almost got a silvery sheen to him. Look at his legs. Almost uh, whitish gray. And they kind of ripple as well from the symbiotic nature of it. He's got a nice face there. Awesome tongue, nice teeth. Everything is fluently animated, the back bling included. But it's great that they give you the option to start as Venom if you want, or you can start as Eddie Brock as well, which is what we're gonna do. Now, the tendrils of Venom is not reactive. If you remember, the comic book version, the tendril tote is reactive upon eliminations, as is the tendrils of Carnage, which is pretty much the same thing. Now, the symbiotic scythe is only usable by Eddie Brock, and I'm assuming Venom can use it when you transform. Now, oddly enough, you can't use the comic book version of Venom's pickaxe on anyone but him either. I was kind of hoping it would work on the movie version of Venom, but it doesn't. You can only equip it on the comic book one. Hopefully that makes sense. Then we've got the symbiotic sail I've equipped and the contrail. For a wrap, I'm gonna go with the black ooze because it's got that creepy tendril symbiote effect right there. And then of course we got the transformation emote, which is called Venom Unleashed. That's how you revert or transform into Venom. But like I said, that back bling does not come off, which is kind of disappointing. So let's hop into a match. Let's see if he's secretly reactive in any way, or if we can notice anything else special about this skin. Can't wait. Let's try this. All right, so here we go. Let's look at the contrail first, and then we'll redeploy and check out the glider, the symbiotic sail. But you can see the tendril-like ooze just flying up at us from this perspective. Kind of tapeworm-like, like I said. And when you go down fast, they come out even faster. 
It's kind of gross, to be honest. Alright, let's redeploy so we can check out the glider in full. So the contrail is just okay. Obviously, it matches the Venom skin and not Eddie Brock. Now, the symbiotic sail we actually have seen before. I did a video on it because I basically got it early. If you picked up the Venom ability on the map, you got this when you used it. So here it is. Nice glider, for sure. The back bling has nothing to do with it, as you could see. It's got a nice deployed noise as well. Here's what happens when you press forward. Get that disgusting sound. Gross. There's a little bit of wind contrail. That's what I call that white effect. Let's go backwards. Creepy. To the left. To the right. Now, it does have these awesome fangs, but you can't really see them. And the mouth opens and moves, but again, you can't see that from your perspective either. But it's pretty terrifying. There's a top-down approach. And an underside approach. There's the fangs. Almost like mandibles. Yikes. Good stuff, though. Matches Venom. But again, for Eddie Brock, not so much. So here's Mr. Eddie himself. Now you can see when you pull out your pickaxe, it's literally on his arm. Here we go. So that is cool. Even though he's a human, he still has that symbiotic relationship for the pickaxe. So I like that. That's definitely a selling point to running the Eddie Brock skin. And it's really a great skin. If this were a Battle Pass skin and his name wasn't Eddie Brock, I think people would really like this. I love the darker color scheme he's got going on. It's like a football jacket, and then he's just got normal jeans. It's just like a good character skin. But of course, it is Eddie Brock, and everyone knows who he is, so that'll make it even more popular. So let's see if there's a contrail. Oh yeah, we got a nice, almost like a navy blue color. I'm curious what this is going to look like in the dark, which is rapidly approaching. So let's check my favorite splash wall. Oh man, there's no splash effect. You kidding me? Let's spin him around real quick. Yep, obviously nothing will glow. Nothing is animated, so a pretty low-key character. I could see this being a sweat skin. All right, so let's do the transformation emote. It's called Venom Unleashed. Here you go. Ooh, did you see that top part? It almost looked like an astronaut helmet. Let me do that again. So let's revert. Watch the top of his head. It like swallows him like it's supposed to, but it reminds me of a helmet. Watch. Right there. Almost like he had an astronaut helmet on. And then, of course, you still have it on your arm. The pickaxe, that is. Still have the contrail. Let's see if it gives us a special splash effect now. Nope. Still no splash. Let's spin him around real quick. Oh, my goodness. Look how long that tongue is. Holy smokes. I don't know if it's supposed to be that straight when it sticks out. Creepy. I think the Black Ooze wrap looks pretty good. I love the ripple effect. Not on the wrap, but on the skin. I mean, on the wrap it's good too, but look at how his skin like pulsates. And then you can see the creepy back bling animation as well. And then the tongue's going in and out and the mouth is opening. Just an all around freaky, creepy, amazing character. There's no other way to put it. This is better than the original Venom or the comic book Venom, in my opinion. Now, some people may argue with me on that, but I actually like this one better, to be honest. Okay, so here comes the full nighttime effect. Curious if anything glows on him. I don't think it will. Be cool if his eyes kind of lit up, but it doesn't look like that's going to be the case. That tongue, man. Yikes. All right, here comes Nightfall. Let's check out the contrail now. Yeah. Pretty sweet. Spin him around. No, so nothing glows on either of the characters. Here's the Venom Unleashed at night. And once more. Pretty cool. Not too shabby there. His head kind of snaps in when you aim down sights. I don't know, it's kind of hard to explain, but... Interesting. Well, let's get some bots. Oh, wait, he's got the same footsteps as Carnage. Listen to this. I hate that noise. All right, so I'm curious if this back bling is secretly reactive in any way. Here we go. No, nothing doing there. I mean, it's always moving. It's always animated, so that part is out of the question. Nothing on two. 
Let's try three just to be safe. And nothing doing there either. Hmm. All right, let's revert back. And we'll try to get another limb here. Here we go. Maybe. Yeah, nothing with this guy either. So it is a little disappointing that there's no reactivity, but the fact that he's got this transformation emote, in my opinion, makes up for it. Because with the original Venom, you just have a built-in emote and you can't transform between styles. Whereas with this one, you basically have two skins in one. And I actually like that better. So a solid movie representation of Mr. Venom and Eddie Brock. So that was the Eddie Brock bundle review. Now, I already did a full gameplay and review on all of the comic book version of Venom. So if you want to see that video, there's no reason for me to redo it all again and extend this video any longer than it has to be. So you can just Google that, type in Tabor Hill, Venom, and it should pop up. Or Tabor Hill Venom Review, or something like that, and it will pop up. But I'll do a quick comparison in the locker here. All right, so here's all three of the skins. So we've got Carnage, we've got Eddie Brock, and we've got Venom. So you can see just how bulky the comic book version is. And he obviously has the built-in emote. Now, I don't think this transforms you, to be honest. Let me just double check that because I said in this review that you can't change between styles and I honestly don't think you can. Let me just double check that. So when we equip him, we can do his built-in emote. Let's see. Okay, it's been a while, so I couldn't remember. Yeah, so it does not transform you. You have to pick one or the other style you can't swap mid-match, which is a little disappointing. And that was one of the selling points, I said, of this Eddie Brock skin. Because you can swap and then transform, which is nice. Now, speaking of swapping, you can swap out, obviously, any of the back blings. But these tendrils don't really match, in my opinion. They're a different color scheme. Look how dark blue it is. Right there, it's not bad. I definitely think this tendrils of venom fits best. But again, both of these are reactive, whereas this one is not. It's just fluently animated, but so are these. These are animated as well, just reactive on top. Now, once again, for the pickaxes, these are all non-transferable. You can't use these on any of the other skins, sadly. So there you go, that's the full gameplay and review. One thing I forgot to mention, if you already own the entire comic book venom bundle, then buying this bundle is only 800 V-Bucks. And I gifted my son this because he already owned the original one, the comic book version. So yeah, he got everything for only 800. So that's pretty cool. I'm glad they did that. But why did they leave these two things out? I don't know. So let me know in the comments, which Venom do you like better? Eddie Brock or the comic book version? Let me know in the comments. I want to tally them up and we'll see which one wins. Maybe I'll do a Twitter poll as well. So there you go, that's all there is to it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. A like is always appreciated. And don't forget to use my supporter creator code, which is TaborTime.